Hello, this is Mike Evans. Um, this is video number seven in my series Toolbox for Newbies. Um, and this one is going to be attaching the kit, about all about attaching the kit, uh, sorry, attaching the unit uh, to the kit. Okay. Um, first of all, in my other videos, we concentrated on this. And I showed you that when we press one of these buttons, the thing lights up. And the uh, thing lights up, basically, so you can see what's being hit. And um, I did say that the same happens when you hit the pad, so just to prove it. Okay, that's just to prove that it does work and it wasn't lying. We can spend most of the time looking around the back, but while we're at the front here, I haven't covered this, but along the top, this is an old series of letters, of words. And basically this corresponds to what's behind there. So if we zoom in on this one, for instance, uh, it says kick and snare. And what that means is that the one at the top is the snare and the one at the bottom is the kick. Uh, but they're a bit too subtle for me because I've got pretty bad eyes. <laughs> so it's quite difficult to tell what they are. Um, but when we go along the the other side we we have we then got then go to this end uh where you put the headphones okay i'm obviously blocking out the light on some of this so let's swing around the back here now point a few things out very simply this is where this is the on off switch uh, that's the power cable that you put in there. That's the USB. That's where we've been connecting to the computer. Uh, these two are MIDI in and out. I don't do anything with MIDI, so I can't tell you anything about them because I don't know. These, this bank here, these eight, you can see there's eight of them, are the things, are the wires that are connected to the drums. Okay. Now, in order to make it easy for myself, I'm going to be using this for gigs. And setting up and taking down in the quickest possible time is uh, something I really enjoy doing because it means there's more time at the bar afterwards. Uh, so what I've done to help myself is to use some coloured tape on each of these. And I've stuck a little piece of coloured tape corresponding on these. And similarly, if you look underneath there, so that when you get, if I pull this out, when you get the kit, they've already got this little thing that says number two. All right, so that says number two. But this number two, if I follow it around, is actually connected into this snare drum there. It says number two. Well, I don't know about you, but the clubs in England are so bloody dark, you won't be able to see anything. <laughs> They're as small as that. So it's, so I'm going to read it. I'm going to think I've just got to grab uh the red uh, the one with the red bit in and push it in okay so we've got uh the snares the toms the cymbals all here okay that's the eight things here and then we've got the two spare ones i've been telling you about these are the spares okay you've got a spare if i can focus on there spare tom number four and symbol uh, number three so you've got spares there so if you want to add some extras afterwards, you can do that there. The next bank along, these here, are the outputs. And if you read the manual, there's loads of different ways you can connect these up. Um, but, and I'm not going to go into that because they're talking about buses and stuff like this. It gets a bit too confusing. Um, but you can, uh, it means if you're doing... Uh, if you're in a recording studio, it means that you can basically, you can also use these as well for that. And every one of the triggers, every one of the eight of these can come out of separately like that. So you can have a snare drum coming out of number one, um, a tom drum out of number two, a tom drum out of number three, etc, etc. So if you're in a studio and want to record them, it's exactly the same as if you got an acoustic kit uh, individually mic'd up. But uh, for newbies, the important thing is... Output number one, if you stick a mono cable in that and put it onto your monitor, it's my monitor there, 
number one on its own gives you the full signal everything goes out through that so if you <laughs> if you only got one thing uh, to plug into just use that number one and that uh, and that's uh, the full signal comes out if you got a mixer and you can get a stereo signal if you do one and two that gives you a stereo signal so number one you get everything out number two you get everything out but in two channels all right if you want to get more complicated than that then you can go inside the box which i'm not doing uh in in this series of videos and it tells you how to wire it out to sort of assign each of these each of these to each of these now the other two on the end here the top one is for your headphones you plug a set of headphones in there and the volume of the headphones is controlled by the volume switch there and underneath that is a line in so you can plug in something else um, you can plug in say I've, I've got an Elisa sample pad so I plug that in there and I when I play the sample pad it's fed through there uh, or you can plug in uh, a CD player or something like that and play something else that goes in through the box as well all right the other thing is because this is a uh, basically this is a stereo output for your headphones instead of having this in the number one output socket the same thing can do if you put it in there so if you put that in there again you get the full mono signal coming out uh, sorry full stereo signal coming out um, but number one is the one this is done for so basically that's the way I've that's the way this is set up and say so a hint and tip is to put these color coordinates on there much easier and what I've also done then is I've used the same color coordinate um, on the on the other end of the thing and where it's uh, applicable like this I hat I put uh, a brown one brown is what I'm using for the I I hat uh, here's the end of it I've also put it on the rack itself again as a quick reminder this is uh, this is what goes there uh, but what I've done is I've pre I've pre-wired and I've connected the wiring all the way around so all I have to do is just pull it up and and push it in pull it up and push it in the other thing to bear in mind is it's a stereo signal that's the thing is stereo so the thing on the tip there is the main head and the thing that's in the bit in bit around here is if it's a rim sound okay so make sure that you push it really push it in make sure it's dead in so you get the both sounds straight in so you get the both sounds if you don't push it far enough you'll only get half the sounds out of it similarly here just push them in make sure that they that they fall so in fact that's all i wanted to show on this i hope you've enjoyed these videos i hope that bit of hint will be of use to you and i hope you have many years and fun playing around with your toolbox uh, so there we are that's the end of my videos toolbox for newbies hope it's been of some help happy playing